Yeah, I thought it was great because we that group has struggled in practice doing the two minute drill recently. Uh, the defense has kind of had our number um, the last couple of times we've done it, uh, and so to do it in a game when it really matters is 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 special. And I think guys feel that uh, would have been nice to get the first down and kind of milk the clock and kick the field goal to win it, but we'll take it any way we can get it. Hi everybody, I'm Missy Matthews. Welcome to Steelers Live presented by Microsoft Windows 11. Ben Roethlisberger speaking today here at the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex talking about rallying in the fourth quarter to beat the Bears. The 50th time Ben has done that in his career, a franchise record. He's the fourth fastest to do so in the NFL. There was no practice though today. The Steelers coming off that Monday night game, so it is a short week as they prepare to host the Detroit Lions on Sunday. This is an estimation in terms of what the practice report would be if the Steelers did a little bit more today. But as I said, just a walkthrough, not practicing Ben Roethlisberger, still dealing with that pec injury. The shoulder injury popped up last week. Chase Claypool, we know, had an MRI on his toe, so he would not have practiced. Eric Ebron, that's a promising sign, still dealing with that hamstring injury, but considered limited. And then the guys you see there, Robert Spillane, Isaiah Bugs, and Cam Hayward. The Steelers will practice tomorrow on Thursday. Well, as of course, it is Ben's day, and Coach Tom told us on Tuesday, nameless gray faces, not a homecoming game. A lot of things you can say about the 0-8 Lions. Here's Roethlisberger's take. Listen, we're not we're not exactly the best team of football right now. Uh, you know, we've got a, a winning record, but but you know, if you if you'll ask most of the guys, I would think in this building would tell you we got a long way to go. Um, we we can't worry. I know. Oh, good catch. Um, I know. You know, coach will pull all his nameless gray face and all these different things but but honestly they're an nfl team that's that's going to come in here and and want to beat us and we want to beat them so um I, I don't i don't look at the records or worry about who they are they, they they're trying to get a win so are we as cj watt said after the win on monday a win is a win that puts the steelers at five and three would be nice to get a win this weekend and move to six and three and as you see in terms of the afc north things are getting a little bit closer at one point the steelers were in last place the same could be said for the entire AFC Conference, uh, things a little crazy this weekend, so hopefully uh, the Steelers can build momentum as they are carrying on their four-game winning streak. But we have to talk about rookie tight end Pat Fryermuth. We know he caught two touchdowns in that big win over the Bears, the first Steelers rookie tight end to have two touchdowns in a game since, of course, Heath Miller. We saw Friar Moose have a great game. Five catches, 53 yards, as we said. The two touchdowns really building off of the momentum in the game that he had in Cleveland the previous week. And, you know, a cool thing happened on Monday night. Keith Miller was in town as a TV analyst working for Channel 4 locally here in Pittsburgh. Pat Friar Moose came out during warm-up, had a chance to chat it up with who he called the GOAT, so that was cool to see. And today, Ben Roethlisberger was asked how he learned about Friar Moose and why there's a comparison to Heath Miller. I didn't know, no, I was it. I was on a date with my wife um, and uh, the like the alert, the ESPN alert came through and said, we drafted Pat Friar Moose and I didn't know, I was like, I don't know who this is. I had no idea who Pat was. And uh, like probably 15, 20, 30 seconds later, I got a text from BA. They said, uh, he's the closest thing to Heath Miller I've ever seen. You'll love this kid. That was enough for me. All right, let's see what he can continue to do building his rapport with Roethlisberger, who obviously trusts him. Now, in terms of special teams, Coach Tomlin talked specifically about rookie punter Presley Harvin on Tuesday during his press conference, said he'd really like his punts to be a little bit more consistent, but also mentioned the fact that he trusts him and Chris Boswell trusts him in terms of the field goal unit. We saw two from 50-plus on Monday night. Here's Harvin on how he can improve his game for the second half of the season. Uh, the biggest thing is just, you know, the consistency is the key. Um, I got to do a better job for my teammates in a better position as well as the defense put in a better field position battle. Um, you know, the biggest things we're just doing is breaking everything down a little bit more, making it a little bit more mental because the physical part is there. I believe 110% of myself that I can do the, and the ability to do the job. Uh, the mental part is just continuing to get that mental block in my head of I got to produce, I got to produce. And the more and more we do that in practice, the more and more better I'll get. 
In terms of the Steelers' outside linebackers, T.J. Watt, three sacks on Monday night against the Bears. He now has 11 and a half, that's second best in the NFL. But on the opposite side, Alex Highsmith, who dealt with a number of injuries and has slowly started to up his production this season. The Steelers traded Melvin Ingram, which means they trust him. Seattle, his best performance yet. He played in seven games so far this season, but against the Seahawks, one and a half sacks there. You see him taking down Geno Smith. He was asked how he can improve and how he evaluates his play through the first seven games he played in. I think just my IQ, you know, ultimately right now I'm not happy with the way I'm playing um, production-wise. Um, you know, I know I'm starting to see the game, the game starting to slow down for me, but, you know, production-wise, you know, I know it can be a lot better. And so I know that production is going to increase, um, you know, over the season. And so that's what I'm looking forward to, you know, starting with the Lions this, this game. All right, as I said, the Steelers return to the practice fields on Thursday. We'll also have your matchup show to preview the Lions game on Sunday. Kickoff set for 1 o'clock. Thanks so much for joining me here today on Steelers Live presented by Microsoft Windows 11. We'll see everybody tomorrow. What's up, Steelers Nation? It's TJ Watt. Welcome to the Pittsburgh Steelers official YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on everything going on in the Steel City. Thank you for being the best fans in football. Here we go.